This is for fourth grade, week 19, Pioneer Life in Kansas, your weekly test. Please put your name at the top of the test. Do not forget. I will read this fairly quickly. You are welcome to pause and rewind and listen to questions multiple times as much as you need to. For the multiple choice questions, there's only one correct answer. Number one, Laura Ingalls Wilder and her family lived on a small farm near what Kansas town? A. Beloit, B. Hayes, C. Independence, or D. Wichita. You will find this on the inside at the bottom on the left-hand side. Number two, early pioneers faced many hardships. Which one was of the following was not one of those hardships? A. Lack of water. B. Blizzards. C. Lack of solar panels for electrical energy. Or D. Invasion of grasshoppers. So which one of those did the did the newspaper not discuss? Number three. Which one was not a benefit to living in a sod house or a soddy? And remember, a benefit is a good thing. So which one was not a good thing about living in a sod house? A, you had easy access to materials. B, they were warm in the winter and cool in the summer. C, the average cost was only about $15. Or D, snakes and insects often lived in the roofs. Number four, which crop was not a common crop planted by early pioneers? As in, which crop was not one that we discussed in the newspaper? A, corn, B, rice, C, wheat, or D, vegetable gardens? Write it out. Answer question in at least one complete sentence. Number five, what kinds of problems did the lack of trees cause for early pioneers? There are at least two. You need to answer both of them. And that you will find on in the section Pioneer Life in Kansas, Adjusting to the Prairie. Number six, what happened in the summer of 1875, excuse me, 1874, that caused so much trouble for the early pioneers? And really, you could answer this in just a few words. It is on the front of your newspaper article. Number seven, describe the differences in men's roles and women's roles in life of the early pioneers. Pro please provide two examples of each. So you're going to provide two examples of jobs that men did and two examples of jobs that women did. You will find that under Pioneer Life, Men's Work and Women's Work. Number eight, describe the process of building a sod house. This section is under Pioneer Life, Adjusting to the Prairie. And you need to describe exactly what the people had to do the process to build a sod house. Number nine. Provide at least three examples of what people experienced during the grasshopper invasion. So you're going to go back and you're going to look. What did they experience? What did they see? What did they feel? What did they hear? What, what were the experiences of these people? Three different examples. If it's less than three, it will be counted wrong. And this is on the front page and a little bit more on the very back page as well. Number 10, what problems do cicadas cause during the summer months? So you will find this under the section cicadas. Just describe what, ex what problems do they cause? What is the experience of the people who live in the areas where they live? When you are done, make sure that both your crossword and your compare and contrast activity on the back page of your news article are complete. If those are both complete, you may turn in your test and your 
newspaper article, and then Mrs. Rice will tell you what to do from there. Thank you very much.